And a good Monday evening to you. I'm Jeremy Babin, and we're talking sports. Success has been a common occurrence for the boys' soccer team in Raider Nation. Going into Friday night's game, the Maroon and Silver were 11-2 and 6-1 and and in region play. Could Elfo change the Raiders' fortune? Let's head out to the land of the Raiders Southeast High School and find out for ourselves. Pick this one up with 22-44 to go in the first half. And after a little ping-pong ball action, Southeast Maria Montalengo going to headbutt it in for a goal. 1-0 Southeast Lady Raiders in control early. Although LFO on their tails trying to get on the board and tie things up. Good work of goalie Car Caribbean Rodriguez keeps that from happening. And we still have a 1-0 game. Now with 15-26 to go in the first half, Lady Raiders on the run. And Valdez kicks it right into the goalie, though. Still 1-0. Now with 7.41 to go in the first half, Anna Valdez is going to make it a 2-0 game. Look at that perfect placement. Left, right, left corner. And that would be how this game would end up. Southeast girls, they win this one. 2-0, had some good defensive and offensive plays. And congratulations, they win. And in that same field, the boys were playing as well, immediately following this game. And it was Southeast. Not exactly in the best territory right here. Alpha is Greg Burton going to make a nice save to keep this thing scoreless. But now with 34-17 to go in the first, Warriors' Miguel Martinez gives it a ride but right into the goalkeeper, known as the Iceman. He freezes that one up. Now here's the start of the game. Number nine, Fernando Vianzar, one of his three goals on the game. Southeast, they go on and win this one, five to nothing. Over Christian Heritage, the baseball and soccer teams have been looking to continue the great run started by the football and basketball teams during the 08-09 school year. How did they do this weekend? Well, let's head out to Christian Heritage and find out for ourselves starting with some baseball. Lines up 2-1 in the third, but not any longer. Ball four with the bases loaded. You don't want to do that, but it happens right here. So it's a tie ball game. Very next batter, another ball four. And it's 3-2 to two LaGrange. And usually when this starts to happen, it starts to get worse before it gets better. And this is no exception. Next up, here's a two out, two RBI double into center field. And that would make it a 4-2 game. And Christian Heritage, they fall in this one, losing 8-5. But let's run out to where the soccer game was at, just a few yards over. And Lions hosting Holy Spirit, 34-33 to go in the first half. This kick, you can't make this any better. Look at this. This is going to make your old man proud if he's watching in the stands. And what do you know? He's watching in the stands. That's my boy. 1-0 Christian Heritage. Lions on the run now, but outdone by Thomas Schneiderman's very impressive save to keep this thing 1-0. Some more defensive gems, this time by Holy Spirit. Christian Heritage, they win this on penalty kicks, 3-2 in double overtime. Well, also in action were the ladies from Tunnel Hill looking for a win at home against a very talented Sequoia team. Was that in their cards this weekend? Well, over at Tunnel Hill, let's find out for ourselves early on. It was Sequoia's Kristen Dixon giving it a nice ride, but not enough oomph to get through the goalkeeper, keeping this thing scoreless. The Lady Bruins, they wouldn't be able to get anything going on offense, as a matter of fact, as they were outdone and outscored. 4 nothing shutout this was, but you know what? They weren't the only team that was playing. Alvar at Harmon Field, some boys soccer, Dalton hosting Osborne. And early in this game, watch this kicks by Dalton. Jose Rangel, flawless. Absolutely perfect. one nothing Dalton. And where there's good offense, there's usually good defense. Osborne's Ray Engiman with a pretty nice stop. Although Dalton, they were the ones that were doing the stopping. And they go on and win this one, 3 to nothing. Well, in a report released by the Daily Citizen on Sunday, Dalton High School junior football star Jalen Fields has verbally committed with the Georgia Bulldogs. While Fields will not begin play with the Dogs until the fall of 2010, the Catamounts defensive end says this is all a lifelong dream to play college football and suit up in the red and black. In the report, Jalen Fields told the Daily Citizen he plans to avoid any recruiting attempts from other schools, saying, quote, if I see other schools at spring practice, I'm hiding. I'll duck behind someone else, end quote. And of course, after recording 78 tackles last season for the Big Red, 
We look forward to Field's senior season and now future in Athens, Georgia. To the mat where the 7-4A all-area wrestling team has been released and quite a set of 14 we have here, including five from Murray County, two out of Northwest, and seven from Dalton. A great all-around year for the Dalton Catamounts, and the proof is in the print. Re uh, wrestling team boasting players such as Eduardo Spike Gutierrez in weight class 103, all the way up to Dean Munchaka in weight class 215. For the Bruins, Kenny Michael and Josh Lewis are named all area in the 140 and 145 pound weight class, respectively. And out of Chatsworth, Murray County Indians have five wrestlers making the team, including senior Jacob McCannathy in the 285 pound weight class. McCannathy took the 7 4 8 title and also finished the season with the state championship. So, all right, all right. Well, you guys are busy, weren't you? Oh, yeah, busy weekend. You know, the weather's nice, yeah. so that definitely How'd helps. How do you have time to watch NCAA basketball? Oh, there, there's always time for that, you know, and of it's course, DDR it, right? you and of it? course, I hold bragging rights so far. I'm uh, doing very well yeah. with my brackets. Jeremy is leading Cedric. Cedric all right, Cedric, that's an accomplishment. <laughs> yeah. Cedric, a final look at the weather, please, sir. I mean, you know, we, we really have to, we have to have a lesson on cheating coming up soon. And these Ohio people, that's what they do. They cheat. But that's all right. We won't get into that now. We'll talk about the weather.